Everyone knows that health degrees are some of the best and most stable degrees that you can possibly get, right? Not always. Some of them are low tier trash like liberal art and arts degrees. They're just in disguise. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how it's very important for your health that you gently tap the like button at least once in all my videos. Preferably, you should log into all of your alternative accounts and your grandma's and your brother's account as well and like it, but you know, that's okay. And I wouldn't want you to sprain your finger smashing the like button so so again, just gently tap it. But with all joking aside, I actually get a ton of questions about a lot of the degrees on this list. And so it's important that you watch the video so that you know what to avoid. Not only will I be going over the degrees, but I'll be going over what signs you can watch for to avoid other degrees that are like this. So let's just jump right into this with number 10 on the list, which is going to be chiropractor. Okay, so this is a very well-known degree. There's a ton of channels on YouTube that do back popping videos that make you go, Hmm, because for some reason it's always really attractive females that are getting their backs pop. Now in order to become a chiropractor, you do have to get a doctoral level degree and they only make around $70,000 a year. Now the problem with this is the average chiropractor is gonna be over $150,000 in student loan debt. That's gonna be really tough to pay off with a $70,000 a year salary. After taxes and expenses, you're probably not gonna have much to put towards the loan. Now according to Student Loan Planner, which is a company that helps people to pay off their student loan debt and they do a lot of studies they release some statistics and stuff like that that's pretty interesting to me the chiropractors that work with them have a 4.9 to 1 debt to income ratio meaning if they're making a hundred thousand dollars a year they have a four hundred and ninety thousand dollars in student loan debt this is actually the worst ratio that they see with any type of degree holder that they work with now this number is likely going to be higher than average of course because people who seek out companies like this are probably ones that are really really deep in debt but if you compare it to a ton of other types of degrees, you'll see that this one is much, much worse. And I know what some of you are saying, you're probably rubbing your hands together, thinking, oh, they're not $490,000 in student loan debt. That's not how ratios work. I'm just giving an example just to make it simple for this video, okay? Most of them are probably, you know, 200,000, 150,000, somewhere around there. But still, that's a lot only making $70,000 a year. Now listen, if you came from a family full of chiropractors, it's the only thing you can see yourself doing. It's your true passion in life. Then by all means, go into this. However, you wanna make sure that you go to the cheapest school possible because that's gonna be a backbreaker breaking amount of student loans to have. Number nine on the list is going to be a naturopathic doctor or an acupuncturist. Now, according to Student Loan Planner, they have a 4.6 to one debt to income ratio, not quite as bad as chiropractor. However, there's less jobs available. Oh, hell no! Now, these are basically like the uh, natural doctors that are like, hey girl, I can take your pain away with suction cups and needles and homeopathic medicine. Now, I do have a cousin who graduated with this degree and he couldn't find any employment even though he he was willing to you know go all the way across the country there just wasn't any jobs out there and this is another one it's doctoral level this takes a long time to get into it takes a long time to complete and it's very expensive. Definitely not worth it from a financial perspective. My cousin is not working as a naturopathic doctor anymore. He went into business. Now I decided I'm not gonna include any more graduate level degrees on here because it's kind of like comparing apples to oranges when you're talking about bachelor degrees versus graduate level degrees. So for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna focus on bachelors. Number eight on the list is going to be healthcare administration. This one is going to rank 581 out of 835 possible degrees. Now, this one can be really bad because there's a ton of really sketchy uh, online colleges, uh, for-profit, just scammy, sketchy colleges that I've talked about before on this channel that offer this degree. Now, people out there know that health degrees, generally speaking, are really good paying. They're very stable. They truly are essential jobs. So a lot of these scammy for-profit type schools will push degrees on people that kind of sound like they're related to healthcare. Now, if you get this degree from a good university, this could be different, but a lot of the people that are getting this degree is from these online colleges and they're just not respected by business owners or hiring managers. So I use this tool that shows how much businesses are paying to run ads on Google. And basically what this is, is the cost per click. So every time someone clicks on one of their ads, this is how much they're paying Google. Now for a healthcare administration degree, for that keyword, they are paying $55 every single time someone clicks on one of those ads. What does this tell you about how much money these uh, scammy online colleges are making from this. Don't fall into this trap. Now, as a comparison, they're only paying about $6 per click for mechanical engineering degree keyword. And that's because these are generally not 
not going to be offered online. They're not going to be offered by for-profit colleges. So yeah, beware of degrees like this that sound like they might be really good, but in reality, they're actually not good at all. This is why it's so important for you to do your research before you commit to anything. I know this is going to piss people off, but you know what? I have a thing for telling the truth, okay? Like, what are you going to do? Put me in jail? I don't care. Number seven on the list is going to be speech language pathology. This one is going to be ranked 671 out of 835. Now, this one deals with all different types of things that have to do with speech as well as the mechanical aspects of chewing anything above the neck, basically. Think of the movie The King's Speech when the doctor teaches the king how to speak properly, the king that has the stuttering problem, and he teaches him how to deliver a really good speech. So this one sounds like it might be useful, but unfortunately, there isn't much demand for it at a bachelor's level. Now, if you're willing to go further and get a master's degree, this one can be pretty decent. And most states require master's or professional licensing in order for you to practice. So going for a bachelor's degree isn't going to be enough. You're going to have to get your master's. If you do, it will be a pretty decent career overall. It's going to have a 21% growth rate, which is really good. And uh, you know, you make around $80,000 a year or so according to BLS. But with just a bachelor level degree, it's pretty much useless. And I always tell people to try to avoid degrees like that if you can, unless you absolutely know 100% that you're going to be going for a master's afterwards. I always tell people that they want to secure the bag with their undergraduate degree. Plans change. Things change all the time. I cannot tell you how many different examples of things I've seen this in other people's lives as well as my own. I had a friend who was planning on going to medical school and, you know, she read somewhere online that uh, if you get a dance degree, you're actually more likely, slightly, maybe like, you know, a couple percentage points more likely to get into medical school. And so an undergraduate, she majored in dance. She ended up not going to medical school at all. And she was stuck with a dance degree, which she regretted. She had to completely change her career trajectory. And now she works as a translator in Japan. So I always tell people, take it one step at a time. Once you get your bachelor's degree, then you can think, okay, should I go for higher education? That's great. Once you get there. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you secure the bag with your undergraduate degree. Number six on the list is going to be dietetics as well as nutrition. So this is one that's actually really popular. A lot of people are very passionate about health and food and all that sort of thing. And in my opinion, it's one of the most overrated degrees that you can get. The numbers aren't very great on this, unfortunately. You're going to make around $61,000 a year. There's 11% growth, which is much faster than average. However, you have to get a bachelor's degree and you have to do an internship and a residency in order to make that $61,000. Now, doing research on this one, I believe that they're going to be phasing this one into a master's level degree in order to work as a dietetic. That could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. You know, who knows what's going to happen. But honestly, these numbers just aren't that great when you compare them to other healthcare related degrees. Be pretty good if it was an art degree or a liberal arts degree, but compared to other healthcare related majors, it's not that good. Number five on the list is going to be a health degree. This one's ranked 661 out of 835. And I think it says a lot about the health degrees that even the worst ones aren't, you know, towards the very, very bottom. But we're starting to get pretty bad here, if I'm being honest. And this is one of the red flags that I always tell people to look out for when it comes to degrees. And that is when they're too general. The reason for going to college is for you to learn specialized knowledge that will help you obtain skills that will teach you how to do a particular job job or maybe go into a particular industry. There's a lot of degrees out there, unfortunately, that are just way too general and they don't teach you anything that's specialized. And this is a perfect example. There's so many different types of healthcare professions out there. Nurses, doctors, pharmacists, so many different ones. Getting a general health degree isn't going to prepare you to go into any one of those. This is like majoring in work or majoring in existing or majoring in breathing. Sure, it's useful, but it's not going to help a business owner see how you're going to help them make more money or you're gonna be better than the next person who they're gonna be interviewing. Number four on the list is going to be clinical psychology. This one is ranked 745 out of 835 possible degrees. We're getting pretty bad. Now, I always get a lot of flack for ranking psychology so low because it is one of the most popular degrees out there. Over 100,000 people graduating every single year in the US with psychology-related degrees. And I get it, I understand your comments. Mental health is important. We are all seeing how important it is, especially with the lockdown and everything that's happening. I agree with you, but just 
Practically speaking, guys, if you get a psychology degree in undergrad, just a bachelor level degree, your job prospects are gonna be really bad. Almost everybody who gets a psychology degree ends up having to go to expensive graduate school in order to get a decent job. Some of them even have to go even further, you know, pass masters and get a doctorate in order to get the job that they want. And I've told you all how expensive graduate school is and how it's very similar to a pyramid scheme in many different ways. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se. It's because you have teachers teaching teachers how to teach teachers to teach teachers and it's just, it's ridiculous. And honestly, you should avoid graduate school unless you absolutely have to go. If it's the only way for you to get to your goal, then okay, go to graduate school. But a lot of people end up going just because they're like, oh, I can't find a job with my bachelor degree like they promised I would be able to, so I guess I'm gonna go give them more money now. You know, this one triggers a ton of people. I don't think most people know what they're getting into when they go for a psychology degree. They find out when they're like halfway through that, oh, by the way, Way, you know you're not going to be able to get a job with your bachelor's degree you're probably going to have to go back to school for two to eight years in order to get a decent job i got to be fair with you guys here tell you exactly how it is i'd much rather give you the harsh truth rather than a gentle lie number three on the list is going to be community health this one ranks 773 out of 835 possible degrees here's another one where it sounds in theory like it could be a good degree but unfortunately the way things are right now this one just isn't viable and there's no way that I would ever recommend anyone going into this. Not to say this isn't important. That is not what I'm arguing on these videos, guys. I think it's a great thing to educate the public about health. Things like eating healthy, exercising regularly, getting normal checkups with your doctor, all of these things are very, very important. This one's similar to psychology where I'm not gonna argue with you. I think it's really important. All I'm saying is from a personal finance perspective, which this is a personal finance channel, it's not going to be a good investment for you. Number two on the list is going to be health and human performance. This one ranks 822 out of 835. Woo. Now this is a degree, it's very similar to exercise physiology where you might be interested in it if you wanna become a personal trainer. But I've talked about this before, there's a ton of jobs out there where you don't need to go to college in order to get that career. You don't need to go to college to become a personal trainer. You don't need to go to college to open up your own gym. At the end of the day, all people care about is can you help them get to their goals? Can you make it fun? Are you a fun person to be around? And you know, how much do you cost? They don't care if you can talk about some nerdy studies and tell people like, oh, this was 10% better when you uh, worked out three times a week instead of four times a week. Nobody cares about that. As a physical trainer, you can look at BLS. It says right there, you only need a high school diploma or equivalent on average in order to get into this career. So why in the world would you go to school for four years, go $40,000 in debt in order to get this degree? There's just no reason. People don't care if you know what all the muscles and all the chemicals inside the body are called. All they care about is if you can get them a thigh gap or make their booty look bigger, whatever physical trainers do or you know losing weight and uh, living a healthy lifestyle something like that that's good too number one on the list is going to be mental health counseling this one ranks 823 out of 835 you see this over and over again where psychology related degrees rank extremely low a lot of people are passionate about this subject psychology the human brain it's extremely interesting I took extra classes in undergrad because I thought it was so interesting but the truth is you know take extra classes study it on your own maybe even minor in it but do not major in anything related to psychology unless you're one of those very, very few people that knows exactly what you're going for. You know that you're gonna to go to grad school and you know exactly what degree you need to get. And this is all about supply and demand. There's a lot of people who wanna get into this. They wanna help people through their mental issues and that's great. Unfortunately, there's just not that many jobs out there to fill all of the supply. And most of the time with degrees like this, like I said, you have to get a master's or even a doctorate in order to get a decent career. And I personally know people who have I've gotten a psychology degree and then gotten a master's and a lot of the careers out there are still pretty bad. There's still a ton of competition because it's almost the norm now. It's like a master's is the new bachelor's. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And don't forget to check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.